Hi, I uh, recently bought this ESP826X uh, Wi-Fi serial module uh, which is uh, very low cost and uh, which can be used in many applications. Uh, this comes with a preloaded firmware. Uh, uh, this comes from a, a company called AI Thinker and they are also providing a um, AI Thinker Android app uh, to use with this uh, Wi-Fi serial module and uh, they have inbuilt uh, firmware which will be uh, using uh, with the Android uh, app they are provided so if you want you can go on and modify your own um, firmware to this um, this one has a uh, 9 GPIO pins so you can see here so this one as uh, this 9 GPIO pins are connected to the indicator board that is be using a uh, 6 LEDs of our uh, 6 GPIOs and uh, other 3 L, uh, GPIO pins are connected to the RGB LED and it has also has a ADC uh, so the LDR uh, is connected to the ADC of the Wi-Fi module and this one has a 3.3 volt uh, regulator and this also has 3 extra pins for the uh, rx ground and tx which can be used for the serial communication uh, with the computer and uh, this comes with uh, a battery holder uh, we have to use 3 into aa batteries uh, the battery holder as soldered to the board with this board and uh, this one is uh, really cheap that you can use the the firmware which comes with the board uh, to control some lights uh, up to you can control up to nine devices at your home with the Wi-Fi uh, app that they are providing uh, in the Android so let's take a look at the board so you can see that it comes with a battery holder we have to use three into a batteries and this has soldered to the board and you don't have any switch to turn the power from the batteries so make sure that uh, you are not powering the Wi-Fi module when it is not in use uh, so uh, if you want you can go ahead and uh, add a switch to this board so it will look perfect and here you can see the jumper pin and the jumper pin we have to use only when we are uploading a firmware to the Wi-Fi module and uh, make sure that you are removing the Wi-Fi uh, sorry uh, jumper pin from the Wi-Fi module when you are communicating with the uh, Android app or uh, using uh, for other purpose make sure that you are removing this and uh, let's see how this works with the <coughs> Android app that is coming with the make sure that uh, you are removing this jumper pin from this board and adding the battery to this so the device has turned on you can see that it has a blue LED here to indicate the power is turned on and uh, 6 LEDs of here that is connected with the GPIO pins or uh, various pins and the RGB LEDs here I'm going to connect this with the Android app that is coming with this module so once the jumper pin is removed let's connect to the Wi-Fi of the device and uh, I'm going to connect with the Wi-Fi so here uh, you can see that AI Thinker so I'm going to connect to the AI Thinker the password for this is uh, AI uh, iPhone uh, Thinker I'm going to type this Uh, 
password is AI then K T H I N K E R the password is AI then K once you connect the password so it will connect to this So once the Wi-Fi connection is over, I'm going to move on to the app which is coming with this uh, Android module. This is called uh, uh, IoT Manager. So you can download this from the AI Thinker website. So this one is for the LED to turn the LED off. You can see uh, in the other cam that the uh, LED is turning on and turned off. And you can also control the PWM of the LEDs. With the slider they are providing the app. The app is uh, completely in the Chinese language. So even if you don't know the language, but um, it is easy to use this app. I'm going to GPIOs. So here are the GPIOs, which we can turn on some. So you can see that. So it's turning on the LEDs. So you can see here it's turning on LEDs. So all the LEDs are turned off. Are <coughs> all the GPIO pins of the Wi-Fi module that I have turned on? So see here uh, with this module, you can also uh, control all your home appliance. So you don't need to go for the Arduino and the costly Bluetooth devices, which you can cost up to uh, twenty dollars. But I bought this module for a uh, five dollars, which we can. Uh, control uh, many applications uh, up to nine is a very good for a low cost uh, module uh, so thank you for watching this and I'm also uh, uh, planning to upload a, a video sooner with the controlling of uh, lights and fans in my home uh, thanks for watching the video please subscribe if you like my videos thank you